Hello, welcome. It's Bill Sklodowski and it's time for iPhone Friday. Every Friday night, another tip and trick to make your digital life a little bit easier. And uh, we've been doing our iPhone A to Z and this week we're up to D. And D, we're going to do two things tonight. Both of them kind of simple, but also helpful. Uh, D is for delete, as in how do I get rid of an app off my phone if I don't want it anymore. And D is for do not disturb which is a very cool, very helpful setting on your iPhone that prevents it from making noise, going off, doing all kinds of things when you are somewhere you don't want to be disturbed. Like, I don't know, in the, remember when we used to go to the movies or, or uh, a show or the opera or whatever? Someday we'll be able to go back to that and you'll be able to use this function. So there you go. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, if you are just now uh, joining us, please feel free to uh, give this a thumbs up and a like. Uh, and share it with any friends or colleagues that you think might, uh, you know, find it helpful and useful. So anyway, tonight we're doing, like I said, let's start with delete. That's kind of easy. I mean, that's a pretty simple thing, but still some folks might be curious as to how to get apps off their phone when they don't want them anymore. And really it's super simple. And, I, and because it's so simple, I'm going to show you one, the next step that it, what happens if I change my mind and I want to get it back. So... To get rid of it, we've talked about this before, but just to review, all we're going to do is we're going to long press on an app on the phone. So I can choose any of the apps over there. And in fact, it doesn't really matter which one I choose. But let's say, for example, I was going to get rid of that overcast. I know you probably can't read it, but that orange one there, it's a podcast app. Okay. So literally, all I'm going to do is lay my finger on it for a couple of seconds, one, two, and see it, it pops up a couple of things. Now, remember when we talked about long press a while ago that many apps will give you some options of different things you can do with the app with a long press. So this one's giving me some of the episodes and some of the things I can listen to and all of that. But way down there at the bottom, it also says delete app. And if I wanted to, I could just tap on that and it's always going to give me the warning. It's never just going to do it without a, hey, are you sure kind of a thing. You know, you want to delete that Overcast app right there. Now, it also says there will also delete all the data. So in other words, and I'm going to cancel this, by the way, just in case. Um, some apps obviously use or download information like a podcast app downloads a whole bunch of podcasts, right? So when you delete that, and again, let's just go back to that, lean on that tap on delete, right? It also says we'll delete its data as well. So any of the podcasts that you have downloaded in this example will also be deleted off of the phone should you choose to delete it. Now, some apps don't have data. They just do things and they don't store any information. So it's, you know, it's not going to give you that warning. It will still give you the warning that you're going to delete it, but it won't tell you that you're going to lose any data there. So some apps on the other hand now are not deletable. For example, oh, I don't know if I went into, here's the, the App Store. See the App Store down there? If I long press on that, look at it, it comes up and there's no delete button there. You, you can't delete it, <laughs> right? It's not deletable. It's baked into the iPhone, so it's not going anywhere. Now, remember you said you don't really have to do it on the app specifically. If I lean on the YouTube app up there, and wait for it and then hit the delete app all right it's going to delete that one but on the same time if i just lean on it again and rather than on the delete look at the uh one two three four one down there where it says edit home screen okay if i tap on that now this might look familiar to you if you've played with your iphone or if you've had it for a long time that they all start to jiggle a little bit and they all have that x in the upper left corner of the app right and by tapping on that, now it's going to delete it, okay? So again, some apps don't show the X. Look, our friend, the app store down there, no X. Photos here, no X. They're not deletable. They're built into the iPhone, therefore they are not deletable. How do I get rid of the jiggling, by the way? Well, I can either just press the home button or I can just tap somewhere else on the screen and they will stop, okay? So there you go. So now... That's pretty simple. I mean, that's pretty basic stuff. What if you change your mind? Okay. So if I'm like, I deleted an app, but oh, I want it back, right? Maybe I changed, you know, I decided I wanted it after all. 
the app store is where you want to go for that. All right. So if you tap on the app store, fire that guy up. All right. You're going to get the today screen there, whatever they're trying to push for today or, you know, the app of the day or the whatever, whatever, whatever. You're going to have up in the, see in the upper right corner there, your smiling face. If you don't have a picture on your Apple ID, it's just going to be the, uh, the little gray, like, you know, silhouette. No matter what, just tap on that picture, that little itty bitty round picture there, and it's going to bring up your account. All right. Second one down there is, uh, or excuse me, is purchased. First one on the list, not subscriptions. First one on the list is purchased. And if you tap on purchased, it will show you all the apps you have on your phone. Now, here's where a little bit of information will help you. Just because it says purchased, you may have got them for free. All right, so if it's, just look there regardless what, you might think, oh, I downloaded it for free. I didn't buy it. I didn't purchase it. It's still going to be in there. The free ones are still going to be in there, okay? And these are all the apps I have on my phone, and yes, I have a million of them. <laughs> I understand. Most people do. I get it. But, oh, let's go back to that purchased again. There we are. You'll notice that it says at the top, it says all, but then next to it says not on this phone. So if you've deleted it, tap on not on this phone, and there's the ones that have been previously on the phone, but you deleted them. And they have that little cloud with a little down arrow, which means just re-download it, and it'll put it back on your phone, okay? So that's super simple, and that's a way you can bring any app back to life if it's been missing for a while or if you've changed your mind. Now, while I'm on the subject, while I'm on that subject, occasionally you will try to start up an app and you'll get a message that it says, oh, we have to re-download this, okay? Because recently, well, in the last year, Apple has kind of modified the, uh, the, the way apps are stored on your device. And if you don't use it for a certain length of time, and I think, don't quote me, I, I think it's 30 days if you don't, but I'm not sure. I, I really, don't quote me on that one, please. If you don't use an app in a certain amount of time, the app gets offloaded from your phone, which basically means deleted. But it doesn't delete any information. So for example, if I were using that podcast app and I didn't, didn't use it for a month or two, whatever the length of time is, okay, and I tap on it to start it up, you're going to get a message that says, hang on, we're re-downloading it. All your information is still going to be there. You're not going to lose any data, but they have to put the app back on the phone because it's been a while since you've used it. And there we go. So that's, uh, that's uh, deleting apps on the phone. Kind of a little bit more in-depth than just, you know, press and delete. All right, so let's talk about do not disturb, shall we? If, like I said, you're in maybe in a business meeting or going to the, well, I was going to say going to the movies. Someday when we're back in the movies and back at a concert or back at the opera or back at a quiet dinner out in a nice fancy restaurant, you may not want to be disturbed by your phone. <laughs> and that's where do not disturb comes in super handy. Okay. Two ways to get to do not disturb. If you have an older phone like mine, my iPhone 8 with a, with a home button there. Okay. You're going to swipe up from the bottom of the phone, right? You're gonna bring it up so that you get the control panel. If you have a newer phone, a 10 or 11, that's, you oh, You do it down from the, you swipe, oh, excuse me, you swipe down from the upper right corner, kind of diagonal, right? You probably have seen that. But no matter which way you do it, you get to this same screen, okay? And on the screen, look right in the middle there is that little kind of, um, I don't know, half moon segment or whatever you want to call it there, that's do not disturb. And if I tap on that, it changes from white to a white background with a purple moon. So that's do not disturb is off and do not disturb is on. And you'll notice, by the way, if you look real careful, I, it's, it's real hard to see, but up there by the clock, by the, excuse me, by the battery on my phone, is there, is there's a little itty bitty sliver of that moon is showing there. Okay, which means do not disturb is on and I can turn it off. All right. What does do not disturb do? Well, it does exactly what it says. The phone will not ring, um, vibrate flat. It just doesn't tell you that you have a phone call or a text message or a, an alert of some kind. You know, no matter what your phone does, when you're getting new notifications, 
right? Somebody's calling, somebody's texting, you're getting an email, you're getting a notification from an app, you're doing, you know, the phone beeps or buzzes or does something or puts up a, a banner on screen, all right? Turns all that off. Do not disturb, turns all of that off. Now, you're still gonna, the phone call is still gonna come in, it's just gonna go right to voicemail. You're still gonna have the text message waiting for you, it's still gonna receive it and all that. No, no, those things are not gonna get rejected. It's just not gonna let you know. So, super helpful. Now, you can also, the nice thing about Do Not Disturb is that you can set it up on a schedule. So if you go into our friend settings, as always, tap on settings, the big silver gear there, right? It has its own, let me bring that up a little bit. It has its own listing, right? Do Not Disturb, right there. It's like right in the second batch of goodies. <laughs> batch of goodies. <laughs> tap on Do Not Disturb, all right? You can toggle it on and off up at the top there where it's like either on or off and that does exactly the same thing as our control center half moon does or you can set it up on a schedule ah now why might this be useful because if you're like me you don't want the phone beeping or buzzing or ringing in the middle of the night so i have mine and as you can see you can either turn on schedule or turn it off and when you turn it on I have no schedule on now. If I turn it on, now the times come up, right? And all I have to do is tap on, see where next to the times over there? Tap on the time, and then there's where you can turn it on, the start and the stop time of when it's gonna not disturb you. So from midnight to 9 a.m., my phone doesn't ring, it doesn't beep or buzz or do anything because it's on the nightstand next to me and I don't want it to ring in the middle of the night, okay? So there you go. So. Now, there is one last thing on this with the Do Not Disturb that's kind of important, okay? And that is where it says, if you, I'm just scrolling down a little bit here, right? If I, where it says, allow calls from, all right? So you'll see that I have favorites, which that's a contacts thing. Go back and watch our lesson on contacts and you'll know what favorites are. But if I tap on that, I can also set it to no one or everyone, why I would want it to be on everyone but have it on Do Not Disturb kind of doesn't really sound good. Or I can create groups of contacts that can contact, you know, that'll ring through on me there. So your choice on that. And then the other one, which is kind of important, in fact, it's very important, is this repeated calls one, all right? So you can tell your friend that if it's an emergency at 2 a.m., you know, you need me to come rescue you somewhere, all right? But if you call me once, it's going to go to voicemail. Call me right back. And if you get, like it says, all right, repeated calls, a second call from the same person within three minutes will not be silenced. Now, if you can't read that right there where it says repeated calls, that's what it says. So if uh, someone's calling me and it's, again, two o'clock in the morning, right? And it's going to go to voicemail. They hear the voicemail, they go, yeah, yeah, Bill told me to call him back. They hang up, they call right back. The second time they call, it will ring through and I can come rescue you or bail you out of jail or whatever's going on, <laughs> all right? So there you go. So that's the do not disturb piece of it. I like it, I like it a lot and I use it every day. I have it set, you know, like I said, from midnight to 9 a.m. and choose your time, whatever that works for you. Just make sure you turn on the schedule, right? Tap on where it says scheduled and then you can turn the time on or off. So there you go. All right, that's gonna do it for today. D is for delete, and D is for do not disturb. Hopefully you found that uh, helpful. And next week we'll move on to the next letter in iPhone A to Z. If you have questions or comments, or if there's something you'd like more information about, or if there's something you've been trying to figure out and it's just, you know, you can't seem to make it work, We'll drop a comment either here right on Facebook where you're watching or if you're watching on YouTube or if you're watching on the blog over at BillSkwadowski.com. Let's bring that up. <laughs> I read and respond to all of them personally, so feel free to leave a comment and I will get back to you. And if it's a good question, I mean, if it's like we've already had a couple of those with people who have, you know, come up with ideas that I'm like, oh, we should do a video on that. And we have. If you haven't yet, stop by the blog and uh, sign yourself up for the newsletter. If you're not on our little list, uh, every weekend, just once a week, sometimes maybe more if there's something special, but typically just once a week on a Sunday, we send out an email that has the listing of the past two weeks videos 
and it also gives to you for free the handout for the iPhone Friday class. So whatever we teach on that particular Friday, this week it'll be the do not disturb and the delete thing, I'll have a handout that you can print and keep for yourself and start a whole reference library there. So just head on over to BillSkolodowski.com, click that red, it's not red on the website, I should tell you, by the way, I just drew a red box around it here to bring your attention to it. So just go check out the website and you'll see it. It's right there on the top. All right, that's gonna do it for this week. I hope you've uh, had a good week and more importantly, have a great weekend. We'll see you next week for What's New Wednesday. Have a good weekend. Stay safe out there. Take care.